this is 2021 November uh, paper one AHL uh, question 12 this is uh, the last question of the paper uh, it feels kind of difficult a little bit maybe okay we have an equation z minus when q is i so uh the moral theorem i guess we have three roots uh the imaginary part of omega 2 is bigger than zero while omega 3 is less than zero okay uh verify that this is a root when they say verify it means you can simply substitute this into the equation uh, to show it would work on the other hand if they say show then you better actually solve the equation yourself so omega 1 minus 1 cubed I substitute it to the left hand side right is 1 plus ei pi over 6 minus 1 cubed which is ei pi over 6 cubed and so you multiply 3 to the power right just like law of indices 3 power over 6 that's pi over 2 and um, that's obviously i right because on the argon diagram you turn 90 degree right with a modulus of one that's i and hence they want us to find omega 2 and omega 3 uh, I mean the easiest way would probably be you just solve this right so ai doesn't really tell us that much doesn't help uh, much or at all so again i is e i pi over 2 so z minus 1 would be e i pi over 2 take cube root uh, if you cube root this uh, that would become pi over 6 and then you add the 1 that gives omega 1 right but we know there should be three answers and the next answer is obtained by ei you go to the argument you add 2 pi before you raise to the power of one third all right and then similarly you add another 2 pi before you raise to the power of one third and so z would be 1 plus ei power of 6 that's omega 1 1 plus e i what's that 2 pi plus pi for 2 that's like 5 pi for 2 over and then you times 1 third so 5 pi for 6 and also 1 that's a 1 1 plus ei uh, so 8 9 9 pi over 6 Now you want to see which one is omega 2 which one is omega 3 so for this one it has the imaginary part right ei theta is what is cosine theta plus i side theta right but you add a one in front so this is the real part this is the imaginary part when you sign an angle less than pi that's positive right so this imaginary part is positive so uh, this will be omega 2 so omega 2 is 1 plus ei 5 pi over 6 while omega 3 is the other one okay then they tell us to plot them on an argon diagram okay so again imagine if the one wasn't there like we have i cube equal to, uh, z cube equal to i then the solutions would just be like e to the power of i pi over 6 right so it's like having an argument of 30 degree all right that's omega 1 and then omega 2 and omega 3 was like space out equally 120 degree so omega 3 is like 3 power for 2 right oh yeah this one can be simplified okay so by adding one to all the real part of each of the roots you are basically just shifting everything to the right by one all right 
So you can imagine like shift to one and then I'll draw the same thing. Well, how much should we shift? Like what is, what is this, right? So this was 30 degrees. So this is also 30 degree. So this length was like, I mean, this is one because uh, if you don't count the one, just the EI five out of six, it would have a modulus of one. So that's cosine 30, that's root two for two. Root two for two is about 0 0.7. Like it's totally less than one, right? I mean, the hypotenuse one, so it's less than one. So if we shift W2 to the right by one, it will be, uh, went all the way to the positive. So like here, here, and, and here. All right, so this is point A, this is point B, roughly, uh, this is C. Okay. And then uh, the question is, find AC, find the length of AC. Well, that will be finding this distance, but that's the same as finding this distance, where this is one, this is one, and each angle is 120 degree. So we can simply do cosine rule. So AC squared is one square plus one square minus two times one times one time cosine 120, which is two power for three. So it's one plus one is two minus two cosine 120 is negative a half. And then we have half plus one. So AC is root three. Okay, then uh, consider the equation, show the roots. Okay, that looked quite hard, Does that looked quite tricky. All right, I don't think we want to expand this, uh, but we do have a Z on the other side as well, so that's kind of difficult to deal with. Uh, Okay, I think the trick is I should divide z cube. So it's this cube over z cube. So this is actually z minus one over z cube. Then we can use the Morat theorem, right? So i, you change it to a polar form is e i uh, pi over two. So we take the cube root. Uh, one of the answer would be uh, e i power for six as we've done, right? So let's do that. Well, for six, well, at least that's one of the root. And then we multiply, we make z the subject by multiplying z to the right. And then what? Subtract this to the left while moving one to the right. So z minus z that, to affect out of the z. Then we divide, we get that, right? Yeah. Therefore, z, one of the answer would be one over that thing. Therefore, alpha is a root. Okay, the question is, what is the value of the real part of alpha? Okay, we will probably like find a conjugate of this, right? One minus e, e is what e is cosine the argument plus i psi the argument. So it's like one over one minus cosine pi over six. Well, we actually know what's cosine pi over six, right? Cosine pi over six is root three over two minus i psi pi over six. That's like half, right? Then we can do the conjugate, so one minus root two over two plus half x one minus root three over two plus half x. So if we multiply the top. We basically just have that thing. We multiply the bottom. We have what? We have the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared because i times i is negative one. Uh, do they just want the real part? Yeah, they just want the real part. Therefore, the real part is just 
you know, you disregard the i. So it's 1 minus root 3 over 2 over the denominator. Well, I guess I'll have to expand this. So 1 squared is 1 minus 2ab root 3 plus square that 3 over 4 plus half a square, 1 over 4 minus over, what's that? This is 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus root 3. So what? Get a common denominator. 2 minus root 3 over 2 over. Oh, they cancel out. So is a half, right? The 2 minus root 3 cancel out. So the real part is a half. Okay. Mm. Kind of tricky. Uh, this is probably the hardest question of. Uh, the November eggshell papers.